good morning students greetings for the day we have already done part d question answers of chapter 4 plants around us today we are going to do question answers of part e for that you open a new page and write part e c w and date then question number 1 list the different habitats of terrestrial plants answer is plants of hills for example pine and cedar plants of hot and wet regions for example rubber and teak plants of plains for example neem and mango plants of desert example cactus plants of marshy area for example mangrove then leave one line blank then question number 2 how is cactus plant able to grow in desert conditions answer is cactus plant can survive in soil that has very little water so it can grow in desert conditions question number 3 what are aquatic plants write their types with one example of each plants grow in water are called aquatic plants they are of two types floating aquatic plants lotus and duckweed underwater plant hydrilla tape grass Question number four. What are cultivated plants? The plants which are grown by the farmers in fields are called cultivated plants. For example, rice and sugar cane. Question number five. Why should weeds should be removed from the fields? Answer. Weeds should be removed because they consume water and fertilizers meant for the main crop now your part e question answers are complete so from the next page write extra question answers question number 1 write three features of plants of hills answer is plants of hills have conical shape they have needle like leaves they are tall and straight then question number 2 write three features of desert plants answer number 1 desert plants have well developed roots they have fleshy stem they have spines in place of leaves for example cactus question number 3 define habitat answer the place where a living thing lives most comfortably is called its habitat question number 4 why are some plants called evergreen plants answer plants grow in hot and wet regions have large number of leaves they shed their leaves sometimes mean gradually so they are called evergreen plants now your chapter 4 is also complete so now you have to learn chapters 1 to 4 thank you and have a nice day